Use the method of cylindrical shells to find the volume of the solid generated by rotating the region bounded by the given curves around the specified axis. We'll start by sketching this. Looks like we're going to be rotating around y equals negative 2. Start by indicating that. And then we need to do some point plotting to sketch these curves. Up first we have x equals 2y squared. If we plug in 0 for y, we'll get 0. If we plug in 1 for y, we'll get x equals 2. And if we plug in negative 1 for y, again we get x equals 2. So it looks like we're getting this parabola. In this curve, if we plug in 0 for y, we get x equals 1. If we plug in 0 for y, we get x equals 1. If we plug in 1 for y, we get x equals 2. And if we plug in negative 1 for y, we get x equals 2. So this time we have this curve. And since we're rotating around the, since we're rotating around y equals negative 2, that will push the points down here. And then we can make this look 3D, or attempt to do it anyway. The volume of this solid using cylindrical shells will integrate from negative 1 to 1, looking at those y values, and the circumference 2 pi r. The radius in this case is not simply y like we use when we're rotating around the x-axis. Since we're rotating around the line y equals negative 2, we need to use y plus 2. The height of this is going to be this curve minus this curve. So we have y squared plus 1 minus 2y squared, that is 1 minus y squared. And then the thickness, dy. Let's go through and simplify this. I'll first pull 2 pi out of the integral, and then distribute. We get y minus y cubed, plus 2 minus 2y squared. If we want, we can rewrite that to put it in descending order. We have negative y cubed minus 2y squared plus y plus 2. And now integrating. 2 pi times negative 1 fourth y to the fourth minus 2 thirds y cubed plus 1 half y squared plus 2y. And we want to integrate from negative 1 to 1. Next, we'll plug in the upper limit, 
everywhere you see a Y, we're going to plug in 1. And then we want to subtract, plug in the lower limit, negative one fourth, negative one to the fourth, minus two thirds, negative one cubed, plus one half, negative one squared, plus two times negative one. And all of that, of course, is still times two pi. Simplifying this, we have 2 pi times 19 over 12 minus negative 13 over 12. Simplifying again, we get 16 pi over 3, which is the volume of that solid.